Welcome back, cooks, to our Detroit Chili Cheese Hot Dogs and Fries lesson. We'll start off with our baking pan sheet for our fries. We'll use a half bag of Arby's Curly Fries or any fries of your choice. These were in the freezer, so we just decided to use them. Sorry for some of the frostbite, but we're going to go ahead and use these up. We'll spread them all over. Try to knock off some of that frost as it'll melt in the pan, but you want these to be evenly placed in the baking sheet. We'll turn our oven to temp 425 and preheat it. And remember to shake these while cooking. So we'll start off cooking, pull them out, shake them, and put them in again. Next up, we'll grab our flat pan for our hot dogs. You can use any hot dogs you like. For this one, we use Nathan's hot dogs. We had them sitting in the refrigerator. We'll speed the video up, but we'll go ahead and place all of these on our flat pan. And we're going to put these in the oven right underneath our fries to save time. As this meal is frugal and easy to make, you can throw everything together very quickly. Oh, sorry for that steam, folks. But as you can see, our fries are already sizzling. We'll put in our hot dogs underneath. And remember we talked about earlier, make sure you shake your fries. We'll go ahead and pull those out. They've been cooking for a minute, but we don't want them sticking to the pan. We'll grab a spatula and go ahead and just scoop them off the bottom. You just want to make sure you're getting movement, so move them around so they're not stuck to the bottom of the pan. And then just like before, we'll spread them around evenly and continually cook them together along with our hot dogs. Now the chili may be a little thick coming out of the can, use your spatula to break it up. And a little trick, don't throw the can away, fill it with a little bit of water. Then you can shake it up to get that residue out of the can. This will also lighten up the chili so it's not as thick. Remember you don't need much, just about a quarter of the bottom of the can with water. Here's our cheese in the can. This one's pretty spicy. This is great because you can just open it pull the lid off, put it right in the pan, and heat it. Remember with your cheese to constantly stir it. You don't want it burning, so you want to heat this up, but make sure you continuously stir it so you don't have air pockets or it overheats and burns. Same thing with your chili as well. Let's use our spoon to scoop all that good cheese out the can. You know someone's going to want extra cheese on their chili cheese fries or their coney dog. So let's make sure we get it all out. No worries on how thick it is. Remember as we heat these up, they will become thinner, especially the chili as we added a little bit of water in there. So no worries. Just remember to constantly stirred. I can't stress that enough for both. Make sure you keep these constantly stirred. And these will stay on a medium heat. Remember, you want to ensure that they're not boiling hot. If so, turn your heat down to a slow simmer as you just want to keep these warm. Now we'll go ahead and we'll grab our butter. We'll put this on our flat top pan as we are going to toast our buns. You don't have to do this, but it will make it taste better and give it more of that Coney Island home style feel. So we go ahead and put a little extra butter on the inside. 
You'll just move your buns all around as you want it to soak up the butter and get a nice brown toast. This way when you bite into it, it'll give it a crunch as well. We'll go ahead and do our second bun as well. Squeeze some more butter in there. More butter the merrier. And these don't take long. Remember, you'll want to do this right before serving as the last step of this is just assembling everything. While your buns are toasting, remember you'll constantly stir your cheese and your chili sporadically. I'll speed the video up as this will take a minute. We're almost there of pulling the hot dogs and fries out of the oven. Your timing is important on all of this as you want everything to be hot right before you serve. That poof poof noise and those bubbles showing on your cheese and chili is a good indicator. You may need to stir and turn your heat down a little bit. We put our chili on another eye and we're finishing up our buns. Look at that beautiful reveal and no that's not music. That means someone's at our door. They must have smelled us cooking. Sorry for that folks. As we're finishing our bun we'll go ahead and plate this as our fries and hot dogs are ready in the oven. We'll go ahead and put our golden buttered buns on our plate and then we'll pull those sizzling hot dogs out of the oven along with our fries and we'll assemble it all in the end. Let's hear those sizzling hot dogs come out. Now for assembly, we'll grab our plate with our toasted golden bun from earlier. We'll also grab a bowl for our fries. Be careful, these are hot. We'll put your hot dog on first. Then we'll arrange the plate to grab our hot pan of fries. Remember you can use curly fries or whatever fries you choose. We chose Arby's fries here. We'll place those in the bowl with our tongues. Now for the great part. We'll go ahead, we'll remove all this. And now we add in our hot chili and our hot cheese. I like to double layer it, so I'll start off with a little bit of cheese first on my fries. You can use your ladle and put a little bit on your hot dog as well. And the reason for doing this is you want some in every bite. So we'll go ahead and move this pan out the way first. Sorry about that, folks. We'll go ahead and bring in our chili next. And we'll do another layer so this way every time you bite into it you'll have chili and cheese on top and on bottom. There's our chili on our fries. Get a little bit on our hot dog here. And we'll come back with just a top layer of cheese. Again this is to your liking however much you want it is totally up to you. Next will be our toppings. So for this one we're going to put in our red onions. You want to see our prep on cutting onions or prep videos, check that out as well. Last will be our ketchup. Also, we have to put some yellow mustard on there as well. Sometimes we do relish, but we didn't do it on this version, but there it is. Your original style homemade Coney Island chili cheese hot dog and chili cheese french fries. This is a quick and easy frugal meal that you can make for one or for the whole family. There you have it, cooks. The Detroit Coney Dog and Fries. Order up. Enjoy, and thanks again for cooking with B&T.